So again, good afternoon to all of you. Our second lesson now is on carrot production guide. So last time we discussed about the broccoli, cauliflower, and and um, also cabbage production. Now we're going to talk about the carrot production. So the scientific name for carrot is Daucus carota, which originated from Central Asia and with Afghanistan as the center of origin. So actually, it is the most important vegetables that are commonly grown in the Philippines, no? in the highlands because um carrot is a a, a uh, is a um cool cool temperate tem uh, cold for it's for highlands or for cold temperature na vegetables so therefore our production areas are in um in binget no and uh we also have mountain province Ifugao, Bukid Nun. So those are our production areas. And we also have our, um, in, in 2006, as of 2006, we have 35,000 tons or a total of 3,400 hectares nationwide na in terms of volume of production and hectare. And um, According to the Bureau of Agricultural Statistics, as of 2006, uh, Binget is the largest producer, followed by Cebu. No? So, um, I know um, carrot is a very common high-valued vegetable. No? And, um, uh -huh. Yes, and so... It's very, it's actually very high in different nutritional value, you know, and also it has a lot of uses. For example, we we don't we do not only cook them or as steam, but also we mix them with chop soy and other dishes like like yung pancit natin no wala well ang pancit hindi talaga completo without carrots, you know, and it can also be eaten raw, no? Pwede kilaw na to na with lettuce and pepper uh, for salad. And my very favorite is yung, yung um, carrots with raisin, no? Na may kinasya, kilaw as appetizer or kaya um, raw carrot sticks, curls, garnish, and uh, yeah. Okay, so okay, so um to continue. I don't know why. Just wait for a moment because I share screen ko. Mm, this one pala. Okay, so I'm um, sorry for that. No, kasi ano. Pili ko kasab. I don't know why I cannot. Okay, anyway. So, welcome back again sa inyo. No, so, um, yeah. Ito so to continue. Um, carrot is usually also are very high in potassium, but sometimes bitter. And um, yung kanyang tops may be cut finely and mixed with salads or cooked in roots or soups, no, for flavoring. Um, it's really have a very exquisite exquisite taste that is uh really one of our favorites. So. It can even be made into juice or cake or jam, wine, and dye. So kaya we have um, 
carrot cake, no? Napaka-favorite natin yan. So, next is, um, it is also used as a coffee. No? And, um, a uh, coffee or substitutes of coffee in, in Germany. And it also has the highest vitamin A content sa lahat ng vegetables. It's because of its bright orange color. And it has two important phytochemicals, no? uh, which are carotenoids and uh, flavonoids, which are natural bioactive compounds. And these phytochemicals work with nutrients and dietary fiber to protect um, people against diseases. So, ang beta-carotene naman is also a carotenoid which protects the body from the risk of heart disease, stroke, um, blindness, and certain types of cancers. No? So, um, Okay, so I'm I don't understand. I know Mawa that mean I know. Okay. So next is we have um so ganyan na talaga ang video ko. Okay. So, medyo mahina ang inyong mga signal, no? But that's all right. Hi, Leslie. Hi, ma'am. Yes. Um, so, uh, in continuation, we were talking about carrots, nutritional value, you know? And um, it's, it's very high in vitamin A. It's very rich in carotenoids and also beta-carotene. And it's very good for um, heart disease, stroke, and so on, no? And actually, the nutritional value ng carrots increases with cooking and even processing. And uh, your nutritional value, the top cellular wall under row carrots will not break very easily, thus making carrots even cook tender and their nutrients, including beta-carotene, more beneficial. And by cooking, it makes, it, uh, it makes the taste sweeter. No? And... Carrot is really have also have medicinal properties, no? It will cleanse your intestine. It's also diuretic and overall tonic. And it is really to have uh, remineralizing, anti-diarrheal, and anti-anemic properties. And it is very rich in alkaline elements that will uh, uh, purify our uh, and revitalize the blood and will nourish the entire system and helps in the maintenance of acid alkaline balance in the body. So being rich source of vitamin A also, it's, it's very good in human diet para sa ating eyesight. And uh, in fact, yung carrot is used for aerial training schools in World War II para ma-improve yung eyesight ng mga students. So ito yung kanya mga specific content no, per 100 grams edible portion. Of course, it's 86% um, grams water with 52 kilocalories, 1.5 protein grams, and um, very um, small amount of fat, carbohydrates, 10 grams, that fiber very high, which is 3.4 grams, and calcium 69 milligrams, phosphorus 38 iron and uh, ito nga, no, 1,000 micrograms of vitamin A, also thymine, riboflavin, and niacin, and ascorbic acid, according to um, Food and Nutrition Research Institute of the Department of Science and Technology. So, ngayon, how do we, uh, how, what are the different production management ng carrots, especially here in the Philippines? So, Carrots actually have different colors. No? You will see from, from black, um, orange, yellow, red. Yon. So we have white, yellow, orange, purple, and violet. And there are several hundred varieties exist, but meron lang tayong apat na varieties that we practically grow in the Philippines. Um, Imperator, the Nantes, and Danvers, and also Chantena. No? And this has distinct 
characteristic. No? And practically, all these varieties are of the Chennai type. No? Yung, yung uh, ginamit natin sa Philippines. And these are open pollinated varieties as well as hybrid varieties are also available commercially. And uh, meron tayong mga mid and high elevation areas na varieties. We have open pollinated, pollinated varieties like Kuruda, New Kuruda, OP, Nico Kuruda, and so on. And the first, the F1 hybrids, Beniyama, and so on. These are for low elevation area, no, yung Kuruda strain at uh, Terracuta. So you just have to familiarize it. So uh, wh what should be the soil type and its climate? So carrots grows best in elevation or highland, like 1,000 meters above sea level. So under this condition, they are more succulent and less fibrous compared when they are not grown in this, um, um, what we call that, um, elevation. With smoother texture and deeper color. So, mas maganda ang color niya pas, pag mas malamig. So, um, in fact, uh, yung optimum color niya is, is achieved when the, it is 15 to 21 degrees Celsius. So, mura na siya o ganang refrigerator na sa Baguio or sa mga highlands. So, and color deepens rapidly in this temperature range about three weeks before harvest dion. And below 10 degrees Celsius and above 30 degrees Celsius, may reduce yung quality and yield of carrots. Although we can still grow them in the lowlands, but then um, yung quality naman niya hindi masyadong maganda. And even um, uh, if it's too cold naman, like below 10 degrees Celsius, hindi rin maganda. So carrots can actually be planted in low and mid elevation areas. And it's only during the coolest months that it can be grown and this um, and however this the roots will be five roots lighter in color and maybe deform no and um ngayon malalaman niyo bakit na -de deform yung carrots no pag um it should during its planting so uh, the carrot grows best in deep sandy loam soil rich in organic matter um, with a uh, medio um um, acidic 5.5 to 6.8 na pH. So you plow and hire the field two to three times, of course, and prepare raised beds 20 centimeter high and uh, 0.7 to 0.8 meter wide and 0.3 meter apart. And makikita niyo sa video kung paano ito gawin. And of course, it must be pulverized and incorporated with fully decomposed chicken manure at a rate of three to five tons per hectare or apply complete fertilizer, three to five bags per hectare before kayo magtanim one week before planting. So, in a one hectare carrots, kailangan natin ng five to ten kilogram seeds, no? And uh, you will make shallow lines across the prepared bed space, which has 10 centimeter apart. And then you sow the seeds thinly cover and cover lightly with soil. So, ang planting natin ay hindi pwede transplanting kasi pag, pag, uh, disturb yung kanyang root system, magka, magko, uh, fork siya, no? Meaning crooked yung kanyang, yung kanyang, ano, root. So, it should be, um, it should be direct planted, no? Makikita nyo mamaya kung ano yung uh, fork carrots. So, in low elevation areas naman, the best time to plant is from the last week ng October up to February. This is the coolest time of the year. And in the highlands, it can be done throughout the year. So uh, fertilization is another um, important practice for carrots, of course. So you are going to apply 126 kilograms per hectare of nitrogen generally, no? And 71 kilograms per hectare of phosphate and 175 kilograms of potassium. But uh, again, it's best na mag magso-soil analysis ka para ma para walang masayang na mga fertilizer. And then uh, apply organic fertilizer as well like decomposed manure or compost about 3 to 5 tons per hectare 1 to 2 weeks before planting para ma ma maka-contribute maka for complete and micronutrients. So the remaining nutrient requirement 
um, can be applied at 30 days from sowing, just after weeding and thinning, and you cover the fertilizer with soil during healing up. And you can also apply tea manure and fermented plant juice. So last time we have discussed how to prepare this para ma-improve yung fertility. So again, it is re reiterated here how to prepare the tea manure. Mag-soak ka lang ng 3 fourth sack of dried cow or horse manure in 3 fourth plastic drum with about 200 liter capacity of water. And then isoak mo for one week. And then it frequently steer mo and dilute up to 20 parts water and spray mo sa leaves at one to two weeks interval or weekly, no? Or uh, every two weeks. And this is how to prepare naman the fermented plant shoots. mag chop ka ng plant shoots or banana trunk and then maglagay ka ng sugar or molasses with one part row and i-ferment mo siya for seven days, no? I-dilute mo yung um, 20 to 40 parts water and i-drench and use as fully a fertilizer na. So those are what we can do as fertil fertilizer application. No, um, I'll just have to check the attendance again. Okay, so again, going back here, another important uh, thing or practice is irrigation, no? It needs, since carrot needs a lot of moisture for the first 30 days or first month of growth. Ayahe kay si Kevin, oh, gi ka nang, gi ka nang, pa, okay ra Kevin, no worries. Irregular, so to continue, irregular watering leads to cracking and forking. So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, um, pag hindi ka rin mag-water ng, um, as needed, it will also crack or fork, no? So, ano itong cracking or forking? Let me just um, show you. Forking. I forking, crack, cracking and forking. Uh, forking. Hindi ka akong internet cafe o yung carrots. Okay, so as you can see here, itong carrots, no, ay nagpo-fork siya, no, nagka ng, sa tawag ano, ka ng, na siya ay uh, sanga-sanga or nagde-deform. So, we don't want a carrots like that. Mahirap siyang i-prepare. So, and to avoid that, dapat direct seeded siya or direct planting and irrigated well, no? So, water them every 5 to 7 days as needed and then mag-mulch tayo ng dried grass or rice straw to minimize weed growth and moisture loss. So, another very important culture is weeding. So, herbicides can be used, no? That, such as linoron, and spray them uh, to after sowing para makontrol natin yung broadleaf weeds and uh, subsequent hot weeding is, um, can be done in time with thinning and healing up. No? Kailangan po din mo ika ng maragbungkalon ang yuta. So, in thinning and healing up, this should be um, done. Thinning is like um, you uproot or the the extra plants para hindi siya mag-compete, dili payat imuhang um, plants or carrots. no, And also to provide enough space to the growing roots. So, thinning, at 30 days after sowing at a spacing of 10 cm between plants. And heal up them immediately after thinning to cover the growing roots and control weeds and cover the side rest fertilizer. So thinning is just mag-ibot, then healing up is just bungkalon siya padulong sa kanayang punuan. No? And um, second weeding can be done and healing up after 45 days of after first weeding naman. So the last very important um, management is yung pests and diseases. So generally, carrot is tolerant to pests and diseases kaya ma, uh, madali lang siyang i-grow organically. However, there are also very um, problematic diseases. No, In terms of pests, we have cutworm. So ito yung uh, paano siya i-control. No? Gumamit ka ng insecticide na commercial or kaya Bacillus thuringiensis or NPV na clear polyhedrus virus at recommended rates. 
Um, so we have insecticides like fipronil, fin finvaderate, permethrin, and so on. We have also armyworm, ganon din, mole cricket, slugs, and aphids. So, and it's different recommendations. So diseases naman, we have powdery mildew, bacterial soft rot, and root knot. So how do you uh, control them? You can spray them with commercial sulfur-based fungicide like mancozeb. No? And of course, you have to avoid injury of the roots or remove muna agad yung mga infected roots or practice scrap rotation and um, with corn, for example, or mag yung dati, di ba, nag, uh, marigold can also be done to control root knot nematodes. So, and then, um, iplow mo siya under marigold. And last is the alternar via blight. No? So, you, get, you, go, you can use uh, mga carrots na resistant or tolerant variety sa blight, like terracotta eh, and S505. Or apply fungicides, like mancozeb and chlorothalunil. No? And after 90 to 120 days after emergence, depending po diyan sa, sa variety and location, you can now harvest your carrots. No? So therefore, first you're going to loosen the soil by uh, using your spade, fork, then pull the carrots roots carefully, and then ihaul mo siya in the packing house immediately after harvest. So usually 20, 20 to 30 tons per hectare <laughs> under favorable conditions and good management. And after that, it's also very important that you do the post-harvest handling practices. So una, i-cut mo yung legs niya, which are 5 to 8 centimeter from the shoulder. Then i-wash yung roots, air dry, and sort them and classify according to size and appearance. So yung mga crack, deformed, fork are non-marketable. But you can still use them for processing or cooking in your ano. Usually yung mga farmer, yun yung may mga mga ano no, mga um mga non-marketable na mga mono na ilang ginagamit. So, you also pack them using bamboo pas uh, bamboo baskets, plastic crates, plastic sacks or polyethylene bags. Now, uh, in terms of marketing naman, it can be sold as wholesale or mag-contra ka na, no? One month before harvest, pwede na mag-contrata sa mga um, mupalita, eh. Or pwede mo rin i-consignment, no? Auction. So, sa binget, usually, gina-unsorted and unwashed as buhos or palaspas siya by growers. So, how much do you need to, to actually venture into one hectare na carrots? So in terms of labor, you will need, you will actually need forty-eight thousand four hundred, no? And um, in terms of materials, naman you're going gonna need forty-five thousand five hundred. So, um, in total, you will need actually one hundred sixteen thousand two hundred fifty-four costs. And but then, if you can um actually sold them no you can sold you can have an income of 300,000 minus the expenses so you can have 183,000 net no na ano imuha na na siya minus na, na siya sa labor so after that is after uh 3 months or 120 days of carrot production Okay, so that's it about carrots. Uh, do you have any questions or clarification before we proceed with um video presentation? Anyone? Naamo yung mga pangotana. Okay, so maybe nine. So let's just proceed with um, um, planting carrots. This is a very mechanized and high technology way of planting carrots and um, harvesting and processing. So let's just watch this. And I also have another video. I also have another video that will show um, low land 
lowland na uh, practice for planting carrots. Okay. With mayo made with farm fresh egg, mag macaroni salad na, tikman ang creamy sweet sarap.
size na siya. Ayan, even yung packaging plastic niya, no, ay mechanized na din. You can see the packaging, the ba? Naka seal na siya. Meron din silang manual sorting aside dun sa mechanized. So, ayan, ready for shipping na siya. Very nice and clean. I guess yun lang no about um, mechanized or uh, ag um, agriculture technology for carrot harvesting, planting. So from planting, mechanized na siya, diba? Hanggang processing or packaging. So that's really very uh, nice kasi malawakan sa ibang bansa. I also have here a, a video which is um like in a Philippine setting, no? So um but we don't have much time already no we we just have like 2 minutes and less so um maybe we will just If you're like me and you really want to be efficient when it comes So we will just you know um wait now We will just discuss or watch this um next video by next meeting so do you have any questions or clarification since this is a uh, like a uh, I know 11 minute video so next meeting we're gonna watch this 
So do you have any question or clarification, Leslie? Anong masasabi mo sa video na pinanood natin about carrot production? Have you seen like this here in the Philippines? Leslie, um, can you speak? Hi. Yeah. Ano, ma'am? Ako nag... Ako ang... Ako ang mong itawag, ma'am? Oo. Ikaw na hinabili ng, ng layas na sila kay Q&A naman. Ah, sige. <laughs> uh, about sa video po, it's very high-tech na... And easy lang siya para pag ma-ano sa... Para, ay, so, kan, ay mga process niya sa pag-process sa mga pagtanong bigat sa pagtanong hantod sa pag-produce or pag pag-harvest and okay easy lang siya ma'am kitungod sa mga machine and very high tech na kaayo siya yes very good Leslie thank you for that very um very good observation how about Kevin ma'am thank you Kevin Kevin, can you speak, Kevin? Or ano, nag-loading pa siguro si Kevin. So, again, um, we're, we're less than a minute and anytime we're gonna stop now. So, thank you very much, Leslie, Kevin, and um, sino pa yung iba kanina na nandito? They just have gone. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, they just have gone. Amurag ako raman siguro din, oy. kami ni Kevin. <laughs> Ang... Aloy po nila, oy. Nangawala sila, tungod na sa signal, looy po. So that's why I really record, records the, ano, yung ating discussion. Yeah, para, you can always go back later, no? Yung iba kasi di makusya. Kagwapa man din mo, Leslie, hindi ba ka mag-video? <laughs> sure. So, andyan na ulit si Kevin, but uh, maybe... Kevin, nakita